2020 has tied with 2016 as the world's warmest year on record. The European Union's Copernicus Climate Change Service said on Friday that rounds off the world's hottest decade as the impact of climate change intensified. In 2020, wildfires were seen in Australia, California and even Siberia. Europe experienced its hottest year on record and warming in the Arctic shrank the ice covering the polar ocean to record-setting levels in July and October. Temperatures there and in northern Siberia averaged more than 42 degrees Fahrenheit above a 30-year average used as a baseline. August saw the highest temperature ever reliably recorded when a California heat wave pushed the temperature of the Mojave Desert up to 129.92 Fahrenheit. Freya Van Borg, a Copernicus senior scientist, explains the long-term implications. So of course we know that temperatures globally have increased by over a degree since the pre-industrial era, because indeed the last six years have been, been the warmest six, on, six years on record. And the part and large part of the reason why they were so warm is due to this uh, warming trend. 2020 was also synonymous with the COVID-19 crisis and climate activists held global lockdowns as a win for slashing greenhouse emissions. Freya says it's a bit more complicated than that. And if we look at a year like last year, due to COVID, there was a reduction, at least in, in some emissions, fossil uh, CO2 emissions, for instance. But there were, that's just a, a reduction in the emissions. We're still adding to the atmosphere because it's not a matter of, it's not the emissions that count, it's the, the concentration in the end. I got a question by someone else, you know, should we lose, lose hope if a year like COVID year doesn't even help. But the, the answer is that it's not that it hasn't helped, it's just, just that it's not visibly helped because you're not expecting that to be visible until you have several of those years, which in the end will make a difference. Scientists said the latest data underscored the need for countries and corporations to slash greenhouse gas emissions quickly enough to reach the goals of the 2015 Paris Agreement and to avoid catastrophic climate change.